reach you in the light. We should learn from your example. We struggle to make a home under this endless night. Supplies spoil more quickly. The air reaches life from all we have. I have never seen corruption like this. It is... unknown to me. When you are ready, I will guide you to where the Vex are most vulnerable. They are difficult to predict. They do not behave as they should. I think they guard powerful secrets. Tighten your gauntlet, and let us take them. Path of the Splicer 2 Mithrax is pleased to see you return to continue the fight. He hopes his people will learn from your resilience as adjusting to life in the city has been difficult for them. He has never seen anything like the Endless Night. It is as though the air leeches life from everything in the city. The people of the city are under immense stress and he says he suspects the simulation is somehow draining them as well. The Vex guard powerful secrets, he says. Tighten your gauntlet and let us take them. Mithrax told you the Vex Guard powerful secrets. Charge your splicer gauntlet with ether so you can claim them as your own. Complete override and use your key code to unlock a Conflex chest. Fight against the Vex in an override mission. Enter their network and claim their data for yourself. Let's go. The Vex are captives to logic, incapable of subterfuge. This makes them corruptible. Who knows what else might lurk inside their network? The network entrance is vulnerable. Feed data into the terminal to overload the Vex defenses.
subjugated mind. Keep her of this domain. Destroy it to secure the data. Travel to the helm to meet with Mithrax. Bring the Vex data you have collected to Mithrax in the helm. I wonder how many how many more ways they can say that. They have already surrendered too much. Now they want more. Meat, cloth, medicine. People in the city need these things. We ask for no more than you can give. This endless night, it drains us. Our resources are spread too thin. What you give to them, you take from the mouths of our citizens. All right. That's enough. My Koro was firm. I am to provide for the Elixni as if they were our own people. Our own people. Lakshmi was right. You are too political an animal, Osiris. The House of Light. We wish to destroy the Vex. To aid the Guardian. Same as you. Yes? Do not start with this. Tell me, Mithrax. Were I in one of your cities, would you bow to all of my demands? We would give you anything you asked for. Because you are so generous? Because we would wish to live. I see. <laughs> You are fighting for your people as I would fight for mine, yes? It is true. Split the supplies as Ikora says. Anything to make this false night pass more quickly. Interesting. That's it? Guardian, earlier I could not speak openly to Osiris, to the saint. Oh, I wanted to shout, have you been beneath the great machine so long that you cannot survive without its bounty? But fear stopped my words. Yes, my Elixni are here, warm, safe, inside high walls. But this endless night, it is like a weapon. It attacks the heart. An invisible foe sieges your people, so they look desperately for an enemy. And after so long with nothing, my people finally have something to lose. Please, Guardian, seize more data from the Vex, and let us shatter this foul night, for the sake of all. Mithrax confides in you that his earlier disagreement with Saint-14 and Osiris weighs on him heavily. He tells you he is afraid after fleeing with his people for so long. The thought of losing the safety of the city wounds him. He feels as though the strange pressures of the Endless Night are bearing down on the city. He speculates this may be a weapon meant to turn a city against itself, or turn the city against those in his house. He asks you to bring him Vex data once again. He believes a breakthrough is within reach. 